What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jobbers and Goons and I've been feeling like making Star Wars content. So we're getting into Star Wars content now. This is a topic that's been highly debated throughout the years, right? And we will be using Legends vs. Legends. This is Darth Maul vs. Count Dooku. Two of the most legendary Sith to ever exist in the Star Wars mythos. Now if these two clashed who do I think will win? Today we're going to do a breakdown on both. Uh, I'm going to do brief origins and then for each character we'll go through physical capabilities, combat skills, and then the force. Uh, without further ado, if you guys like Star Wars content and this, run the likes up. Let's try to get it to 300 likes. That'd be amazing. As well as check out uh, this, uh, my regular Discord server, which is a, at around like 705 members as of now. And check out my Star Wars server. It's completely free and has information on the characters I talk about in my videos. But anyways, getting right into this. I hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's begin. So first, we have Darth Maul. Now, Darth Maul is a character, especially in Legends, that I have grown uh, to appreciate a lot more. Uh, down the line as I've researched Star Wars more. Maul... Uh, in terms of origins was a Zabrak male that when born uh, and was young was deemed an asset super valuable to the likes of the Sith you see he had so much force potential fun fact that Sidious upon visiting the child Maul was like yeah I can't let this baby fall into the Jedi hands this actually implies that like if raised properly by the Jedi Maul would be a threat to someone like Sidious in his operation, which is crazy to think about. So, Sidious marked him to be his future acolyte in the Sith. Later on, Maul would grow up a horrible, horrible, uh, rigorous life uh, in his youth and teens as he trained to become the ultimate Sith assassin. Being uh naturally strong in the force as well as naturally physically dominant as a Zabrakian. Um Maul really prospered early, eventually uh passing a maddening test from Sidious to become his true um apprentice. This Sith assassin Darth Maul would go on to kill several Jedi uh and some of the strongest fighters throughout the galaxy. Eventually, um, he would fall after slaying Qui-Gon Jinn and was cut in half by Kenobi. However, he returns out of sheer, sheer hate and becomes a uh, interesting character throughout the Clone Wars. Eventually, Maul's actual death came at the hands of a much older hermit Kenobi who was forced to view Maul as a threat to young Luke and put him down accordingly. In terms of his story, Darth Maul was one of the most formidable characters in the Clone Wars era and predating so. Um, and in my opinion, is one of the most slept on as an overall combatant in Star Wars. Now, let's get into his physical capabilities. Like I briefly touched on in his origins, Darth Maul is a character well renowned for his physical attributes. Even without the Force, uh, it stated like the peak limitations of his body and capabilities are five times more than what a human would be capable of so obviously with amplification through the force this physicality gets boosted uh, rapidly we've seen him physically react to things like jedi knights jedi masters who can react to hyperspace jumps as well as uh light speed laser attacks uh, not only this, we've outright seen Maul react to and move out of the way of blaster fire. Um, he's been able to blitz so fast, uh, regular like holocrons and recording devices couldn't catch him. Keep in mind, these very same things help navigate MFTL hyperspace, which is crazy to think about. In terms of strength, he's been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vong warriors who are so physically tough and resistant that even the strongest force users have a hard time throwing them around even with the force um, and Maul was able to physically kill one not only this he's been able to tear through the chest of a wampa uh, survive being cut in half um, 
he's lasted for several hours in battles, has taken on literal armies, um, and Darth Sidious considered him like a one-man army due to his skills and his physical capabilities. Overall, in terms of a physical combatant, Darth Maul's one of the uh, most gifted we've ever seen in Star Wars, and his physical profile in Star Wars can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost anybody. Next, we're going to get into his combat skills and intelligence. Like I said, Maul was raised to be basically the perfect Sith assassin. This included a lot of times where he was forced to almost ignore his uh, advantages given to him through the Force and go about business without relying on such. As a result, his actual skills, including his martial arts, Teres Kazi, uh, was perfected beyond the normal limits, in fact. Um, in terms of overall combat skill, Darth Sidious considered um, a young uh, Chrysan Sith assassin Maul to be peerless as an overall fighter. He has gone toe to toe with and combated Jedi, uh, including Fan, who was stated to be basically unparalleled in force martial arts slash combat. Yet Darth Maul was able to go toe to toe with him, even defeat him. Um, he easily went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Qui-Gon Jinn, who, through a mixture of his own plenty of missions as a Jedi Master, as well as his training under Count Dooku, who's one of the most skilled ever, um, Jinn was one of the most talented and skilled fighters, um, but even him and his own apprentice, Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, were easily matched by the skill of uh, Darth Maul. His most famous or notable uh, styles in terms of combat for lightsaber fighting would be um, his super aggressive and randomized uh, blending of both Ataru, which is the acrobatic aggressive form which you see characters like Yoda use. Uh, Maul uses this perfectly but he primarily uses Form 7 Juya. This is a form that does kind of take stuff from most uh, or several of the other forms. However, it's primarily fast, aggressive, deadly, and relentless. This is essentially the pinnacle of a aggressive, overwhelming style. For an example of this, uh, outside of himself, Darth Sidious practices Juya and uh, mainly uses such, um, as well as other characters famous for so, would be, um, I, I would say someone like, to represent a good style of this would be Grievous, um, as he's overwhelming with the style um, and some of the techniques, as well as Starkiller used it a lot. There's a lot of uh, evidence of Juya being insanely overwhelming as a skilled uh, fighting style uh, and even Mace Windu the fabled swordsman made a variant of Juya which just goes to show how crazy um, overwhelming it is so he's been able to master this style to the point he could fight off the likes of Qui-Gon Jinn Kenobi he's defeated later versions of Kenobi he's able to defeat his brother Savage Opress who at points could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Anakin uh, and Kenobi. Um, he's been able to briefly go toe to toe with Mace Windu, take on Grievous, even uh, cutting off one of his arms. Um, he's been able to uh, go against the likes of Asajj Ventress comfortably. He overwhelmed why, while injured the likes of the Dark Jedi, Kamari Vosa. Um, again, in terms of like combative skill, um, he's one of the most skilled we've ever seen. Um, especially coupling in what he's capable of as a martial artist up close. So you have to worry about more than just his blade as Darth Plagueis said it best where essentially he said Maul is just as dangerous with his martial arts and physical body as he is possessing a lightsaber. In terms of combat skill and intelligence, Maul was super crafty. Uh, insanely dangerous in his time as a Sith assassin. Um, one of the best masters of Juyo we've ever seen. And overall, he's a very aggressive and overwhelming fighter who, skill-wise, is capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with almost anyone in the galaxy.
Now we will be considering his force abilities and gear. Now, in this particular battle, we will be giving Maul access to his dual blade fencing. This um, allows him to fully utilize his Jarkai slash Juyo uh, blended style. Um, and he also, his lower half is mechanical which allows for much more physically devastating strikes than typical legs would uh, typically produce. Now, in terms of what he brings to the table in the Force, Darth Maul is actually one of the strongest uh, Force users of his era. He's able to regularly outmatch and throw around the likes of Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, who's one of the strongest Force users in the Jedi Order. He uses his abilities in the Force and I think most eloquently put in the works as a battering ram um, in that it's it's more nuanced than someone like an Anakin, like a young Anakin, but it's something where he knows his latent power. He knows like the few key uh, aspects to it that'll help him succeed in the way he fights. And he uses that as bluntly and powerfully as possible because he's a very overwhelming combatant. This includes massive um, force-based pushes and telepathic attacks. He's known to be a proficient user of telepathic uh, combative properties as well and psychic abilities. Uh, he is noted for his uh, force choke as well as... It is a bit controversial, but in one of the games for Phantom Menace, we do see him use Red Sith Lightning. Not only this, Darth Maul is later stated in a guide slash magazine to be able to use Sith Lightning. So you could conjecture he can use a lower form of Sith Lightning or Red Sith Lightning, although obviously it's pretty easy to argue he doesn't use this in character. Maul is one that uses Dunmok as well, or basically a force-enhanced ability um, with mechanics and robotics. He has willpower and rage through the force that's so powerful he can survive literally being cut in half, um, as well as it amps his rage. Not only this, if you have hate or rage during a battle, he can actually use that to fuel himself, which is pretty interesting. Um, he is well practiced and well versed in force stealth techniques, uh, fluctuating and hiding his power to take his opponents by surprise. Um, and overall, as a force user, Maul isn't the most sophisticated we've ever seen, but he is great at what he does and he knows how to use the force in a way. To shift the battle in his favor. Overall as a combatant. Darth Maul is one of the most dangerous. In Star Wars history. And is a tough battle for almost anyone. Uh, especially during his era. But we're putting him against. A monster of a combatant as well. So let's see how these titans clash. Let's move on to Count Dooku. The Count. Was brought in at a young age. To the Jedi Academy. Even characters like Grandmaster Yoda saw the crazy potential within the youth. Elegant, intelligent, and brave through the Force, Dooku quickly became a star among all of his peers. Uh, not only as a duelist and skilled Jedi, but as a diplomat uh, and intellectual as well. Um, unafraid of what the dark side offered, uh, Dooku was unbothered by attempting to investigate all aspects of the force which of course would include the dark side in doing so this brought him teetering on the edge of his jedi uh, teachings and profession and eventually due to his disagreements uh, some shady events happening and overall complicated nature dooku broke off from the Jedi who he firmly disagreed with at that point and would go on to serve the Sith becoming the apprentice to Darth Sidious Count Dooku due to his prowess as a politician uh, negotiator and as a warrior 
was quickly able to raise the separatists to go against uh, the Republic, uh, as a result leading to the fabled Clone Wars. Dooku became uh, feared throughout the Republic during this time, as he was able to take on Jedi alike, and even the likes of Yoda himself. Um, and in the end, his... Uh, death was brought about in a battle with um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker one last time as they were trying to free the Emperor. And in his mission to goad Anakin to his breaking point, Anakin was pushed too far and overwhelmed the Count, eventually beheading Count Dooku and bringing his life to an end. Now, with his origin slash story out the way, let's get into the different categories. First up, physical capabilities. As a physical combatant, I do feel like Count Dooku is oftentimes underestimated. In terms of earliest appearances, we know that in his uh, story and youth, including time served in the Jedi uh, temple and thrones he was able to keep up with the likes of yoda on a consistent basis has been fast enough and physically capable of even besting mace windu in some of their sessions uh he would later go on to demonstrate he could take down and physically manhandle the likes of kenobi and skywalker uh with anakin later being noted as the most physically gifted jedi uh, perhaps ever um he's also Quick enough to uh, catch the likes of Asajj, Ventress off guard, who can even blitz Kenobi. He himself has been able to pretty easily uh, blitz Kenobi and fold him with physical strikes. Not only this, uh, we've seen Quinlan Voss, who's one of the more physically capable Jedi of his time, outright state that in confrontations with Dooku, Dooku straight up had, quote, inhuman strength. Um... He's able to endure blitzes from a pissed off Yoda. He is capable of surviving uh, fatal plagues and healing himself as well. His toughness, he's like endured his own lightning, which can one shot the likes of Asajj Ventress uh, and take blasts as well as other injuries and keep fighting. His gas tank isn't the best, but that also was like. At a time where he was near his oldest as a combatant. Um, at his peak as a Sith. Uh, obviously being able to fight the, fight the likes of Kenobi. Then Skywalker. And then take on Yoda. Uh, you have to have a decent gas tank. And he easily does so. Uh, overall physically. Uh, Dooku's a lot more physically capable than I think people give him credit for. And he has numerous feats throughout his time. That kind of demonstrate he's one of the more physically dangerous Jedi or Sith to ever fight. Next, we're going to go over his combat skill and intelligence. I kind of already spoke on how brilliant Dooku was. But um, just to put it in perspective, Yoda himself once stated that like, in terms of just being a blend of martial skill brilliance as a diplomat and intellectual and just intelligence in general and power in the force dooku was like arguably the most perfect out of all the jedi on top of this his skill with the blade is very detailed uh, obviously he has studied all forms of lightsaber combat but his preference is form to uh, Makashi. Now, the base of Makashi is pretty simple. This is a style that is considered archaic in nature due to the fact that it primarily focuses on one-on-one -on -one dueling or straight-up lightsaber dueling. For a long time in the galaxy, lightsaber dueling was not as prominent, so studying such a form was seen as kind of caveman-like. Well, not only did Dooku study this, he perfected it. And this makes him one of the most dangerous one-on-one -on -one skilled duelists we have ever seen. As he can pinpoint and pick through almost any defenses, apply a constant pressure without uh, straining himself, as well as deflect 
up to but the strongest lightsaber strikes, oftentimes being able to simply redirect them uh, with his dueling ability. On top of this, uh, with his primary base being uh, Makashi, we do know that Dooku has enhanced his style slash blended it with other forms as well. For example, he has uh, tweaked the style to better stop lightsaber uh, strikes from several angles as well as to stop blaster fire. Basically accounting for more large scale uh, encounters. He's been able to scale wise keep up with Yoda. He's even tagged Yoda in lightsaber dueling before. He's been able to best uh, Mace Windu in their sparring sessions before. It stated really only in skill ever was Mace Windu or Yoda like Dooku's tier. He's considered one of the most balanced uh, combatants to ever exist in the Star Wars mythos. He has decades of experience, um, including beating some of the best swordsmen to ever exist. Overall, while many laughed at him as a combatant because he was studying an arcane style that focused on dueling, this focus uh, has produced one of the most dangerous one-on-one -on -one duelists we have ever seen. He's extremely effective as a combatant, highly intelligent, very analytical, and as a result, he is one of the most dangerous lightsaber duelists we've ever seen. Moving on, we're going to go over his force abilities and gear. Now, obviously, like Maul, he doesn't wear too much armor. None of his body's uh, cybernetic uh, either, though. He doesn't wear much armor, but he does have the swaggiest of robes. He also possesses a curved hilt lightsaber uh, made for optimal wrist movement uh, and fluidity of motion. Um, he also has some fly-ass boots as well, but in terms of gear, he's really not bringing anything crazy to the table. And now, on the other hand, with the Force, he has a lot he brings to the table. Count Dooku has studied thousands of years of not just Jedi teachings, philosophies, and Force techniques. He's also studied thousands of years of Sith holocrons and techniques. He is a true studied uh, student of Baynite, which, uh, if you guys don't know, Baynite scaling and mythos is essentially uh, all the dark side teachings passed on throughout the years since Darth Bane established the rule of two. This has allowed Dooku to already expand his vast and nuanced arsenal as a Jedi when he became a Sith Lord. This arsenal includes massive telekinetic blasts, the likes of which can casually overwhelm the force defenses, uh, defenses of Mace Windu. He's able to outright go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yoda uh, in telekinetic battles, uh, as well as hurling debris slash telekinetic warfare. Um, Yoda himself had great trouble turning aside uh, Dooku's lightning uh, when he tried to blast Yoda with it. His lightning's been able to knock out Darth Maul before. It's been able to incapacitate completely Anakin Skywalker. Um, as well as it was stated, his blue lightning, which seemed to mix telepathic uh, prowess as well, was like brand new slash unseen before to everyone when he debuted it, which is pretty interesting to think about. Dooku has extremely versatile mind hacks, including uh, mental attacks that could devastate even the likes of Kenobi. A Kenobi who at one point uh, survived a mental attack from a dark side nexus that was stated to be attacking his mind with like the power of a hundred um, mauls, which is pretty impressive. And Dooku seemed to be having the same effects on him with this attack, as well as it boloed Anakin. He has extremely good force resistances, for example, Neg the Fateful Plague, he's able to neg uh, life draining and soul uh, stealing techniques. He is capable of throwing around pretty casually the likes of Obi-Wan Kenobi. His force enhancing and augmentation allows him to keep up with the likes of Kenobi Skywalker pretty easily and even a pissed off and raged Yoda. He's able in Legends to produce the likes of Doppelganger which uh, is one of the toughest force techniques to possibly uh, learn and use. 
as well as this was an ability that basically split your power in half, would send out a clone or a doppelganger to battle for you. And his doppelganger was able to take on Kenobi and Skywalker and even heavily press uh, S Skywalker himself. Uh, overall, in terms of the Force, Dooku is one of the most studied and versatile Force users of his era, if not of all time. His prowess in both light side techniques and dark side techniques make him uniquely dangerous. And overall, he's one of the most impressive Force users ever. So, with both characters out the way, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's kind of get into the breakdown of who would win. So, in terms of physicality, I do think Darth Maul is his superior in physical capabilities. Now, this is no slight to Count Dooku, as Darth Maul is one of the most physically capable characters we've ever seen in Star Wars Mythos. Um, he's almost a unicorn in what he brings to the table. And as a result, despite Dooku having a very impressive physical resume, I still give the capability department to Darth Maul. In terms of dueling, I think this is really complicated to decide. Um, for me, if you if you asked me, like, hey, pick, pick a side that you just, if you had to, you just pick one. It would be Dooku as being more skilled. However... There are statements out there for stuff such as Maul could only be defeated as a duelist by, like, say, Kenobi. That's fine, but there's also statements out there that says, like, Yoda could only be bested, or Dooku can only be bested by Yoda. Stuff like that. So, you could argue it's kind of valid. Sorry, hairball. Um, but at the same time, there's, like, counteracting statements that would neutralize that for Dooku's side of things. Um, I will say, I, I, t I used to say Dooku, but I would say overall, uh, probably tied, just because Maul has enough evidence and feats to put him at close to relative to Dooku, and I think combined with his gas tank, this really helps him kind of make it relative here, um, where on the other side, Dooku's experience, intelligence, and just overall decades of skill and ability uh, brings a balance to this as well. So I would personally slightly favor Dooku as a duelist, but I can understand why you argue overall in combat skill and intelligence you think Maul is relative. Moving on, force and gear. I think gear slightly favors Maul, however it's a little in inconsequential uh, given that this won't really be a gear battle. Now, in Force Abilities and Techniques, I favor Dooku. Dooku has a more versatile skill set when it comes to the Force. Has a lot more demonstrated techniques he'll use. Uh, is more clever in his approach with the Force as well. And has more arguments for being stronger in the Force, at least in practical power. Whereas Maul is very gifted in the Force. Um, he knows how to use it best to his advantage. And he has a pretty strong skill set through the Force as a assassin type. However, he's just not as nuanced, not as versatile, and not as powerful. And as a result, I would give Dooku the edge as a Force user in this department. It's obviously, like I said, mad close. So who do I got? In this situation, I would probably favor um, the likes of... Uh, Count Dooku. My reason for this, uh, Count Dooku is at least as good with the blade, um, if not better, uh, especially in a one-on-one -on -one individual battle. He's more intelligent in my opinion. He has the physical capabilities to keep up with Maul. I do agree that if this goes into a super long drawn out battle, that favors Maul with his endurance. No question. But don't believe it would get there. I have Dooku... Dooku with his abilities through the force, his more refined uh, force techniques and nature. Um, I see him beating Maul six to seven times out of ten high difficulty. The times Maul would win, in my opinion, would be via basically him making little to no mistakes and executing a practically flawless uh, assault game plan. However, 
Maul rarely executes flawlessly. I just don't favor that outcome as much. I think due to his versatility in the Force and his uh, dueling capabilities and intelligence, Dooku wins high def. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this video. Next battle I think I'm going to do is Kenobi and Skywalker, the version that fought Count Dooku the first time versus Qui-Gon Jinn and Kenobi that fought Maul. I think that's a pretty interesting conversation to have. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Jobbers and Goons. If you love Star Wars, show some support and smash the like button. And anyways, I'll see y'all later. Peace.